guys, Mr. Luke Gaming here. Welcome back to the Plymouth Career Mode. This is episode 3. We've got our first league I'm coming up away against Cheltenham. And we've got injury problems in our midfield. So we'll have to take him out and play Cox instead of Reed, which is a shame. But other than that, it's the first run lineup for our first game of the season. Now, while I've, I've been making this video, I've been researching players who I could potentially sign. And I've put in a few inquiries into who I could possibly get. So if I show you my short list, I'll show you, I've put in an offer for Brown in, it was supposed to be a cheap Everton young centre back. And also Graham Burke, who is a centre forward playing for Aston Villa, who I think we can get for cheap as well. So that's the situation at the moment. I'll go to the first game here, and as I used to do, I'll show you the highlights from the game. And talk to you more when we get to the game. See you then. Ten minutes into the game, Chelsea get a chance running down the line. Four Burns crosses it into the box. Let's head it in. And we're one nil down after 15 minutes of the game, which is not a good start to for Plymouth Argo. Danny Haynes putting Chelsea in my head. Then Reed puts a lovely ball through for Alessandro, who's running through the goalkeeper and he must score. Or maybe the goalkeeper will make a phenomenal save. And that is about all that happened in the first half. So that ended the first half. 1 0 down at half time. Not a good start. Hopefully, we can pick up in the second half. As we kick off and begin the second half. We get a chance here, whip it in the box. But nothing comes of it. Tower shooting over the bar. But it actually took a deflection. So we're in the corner. Benton crosses this into the box. But it's headed just over the bar. And Alessandro does a nice bit of skill, gets his shot away. The keeper makes a great save once again. Oh, yes! So we thought we'd just start trying to mark their player, but it kind of backfired. Uh -uh. So, yeah. We didn't try and intercept, and just as we were about to win the ball in the edge of the box, the ref blew his whistle, meaning we did not get the opportunity to score. Nicolas in the last minute, so we lost that game one 0 against Chelsea, which is disappointing. But as you can see, our request to sign these two players, they came, but Tyus Browning was being offered for free, so we're definitely going for him. And Graham Burke only 25k, which is really cheap, so we go for both of those players. And as you can see, we take a quick look at the table, which shows that we were not doing well at all. The next game, though, is a Capital One Cup game against Blackburn Rovers of the Championship. I mean, this will be a very tough game. They get the first chance in the seventh minute, running through, playing football. And I thought that was a penalty. I'm very surprised. Looking, when I look back at the highlights, which I'll show you later, I thought, and I'm pretty sure that was in the penalty area. But from this free kick, they put it straight into the top corner. So it doesn't matter that they didn't get a penalty. So I won them up 
after nine minutes of the game. Running by a good interception, play a good ball through to Reed, who runs onto the goalkeeper. But he gets taken out in the box, and I don't know how that's not a penalty. Then it's half time, we're 1 0 down. We're getting back into the game a little bit. And as you can see right here, just showing you again that it was actually a clean tackle in the end. It's a fair play to their defender. Well, that is a great tackle. So, yeah, we'll I'm beginning the second half now. And we're kicking off Alessandro going on a little run down the pitch before he eventually is going to get stopped. We're in on the throwing as we throw to Reed. He crosses the ball in but comes down the corner with a horrific touch and they actually get a free kick out of that which is very disappointing and they bring on Marshall for Conway. We then play a great, make a great interception with Cox, who picks up the ball, plays a great ball through to Reed, and then their goalkeeper makes a phenomenal save. Banton then plays a lovely ball through to Hartley, who plays the ball in the box, and Alessandro has a header, brilliantly saved by their goalkeeper once again. And from the resulting corner, with a goalkeeper is up. We're crossing the box. It goes near the goalkeeper. But in the end, it's headed away to Nelson and cleared away for a throw. And that is, unfortunately, the end of the game. And we're out of the Cup to One Cup after a 1 0 loss to Blackburn Rovers. It's been a pretty poor start to the season. We're struggling to pick up points or get any goals. So as you can see, these are the results from the Capital One Cup just being. But as you can see here, Aston Villa have accepted the transfer of Graham Burke, so we must now offer him contract at the club and hopefully he will accept that. We then advance on to Northampton game but before that because you can see Everton accept the transfer offer for Browning or a free agent so that's a really good deal if we can get him for £4,000 a week we advance some more, moving slowly towards the Northampton game. And just as we reach that day, as you can see there, Graham Burke accepts the contract. A four-year deal. It's a great deal. It's picking up a young player from a Premier League side, Aston Villa. And also, we're just going to fit him into the bench for now. As it turns out, he's not as high rated as I expected but he will be a great addition to the club and will be able to replace anyone who gets tired he's got three star skills and three star weak foot he's left footed playing at the cam role for me and yes as you can see he's got some decent stats and he's very young so he'll grow a lot hopefully And that is going to be the end of this episode of my Plymouth Fire Goal career mode. Hope you've enjoyed it. I've been Mr. Luke Gaming. See you later.